TV and more specifically welcome back to day two of Goodwood Festival of Speed. Yesterday was absolutely unbelievable. I've already dropped a video on that and my brand new wheels for the whole festival so make sure you go and check that one out. But today is going to be a very exciting day. Today is going to be absolute mayhem and as always with Goodwood the car park is the best place and something has caught my eye already. I'm here in the, uh, the kennels part of Goodwood, if anyone's familiar with that. Uh, thanks to Aston Martin, they provide us with some VIP parking, which is all very cool. But I've spotted this in the car park. A lot of you on Instagram will know whose car this is. Mr. Andy. But this, I think, is probably the nicest Speciale Aperta I've ever seen. Andy just recently got this, and it is unbelievable. The spec on it is just beautiful. Stuff you can't pick up on, every single little bit and bob here is carbon. And I usually absolutely hate red calipers, but on this car it looks really, really nice. You've got the carbon center caps. Uh, really tasteful, tasteful spec. I love it. And coming around here, this is a cool detail as well. You've got a carbon filler cap, which you rarely, rarely see. So cool. But anyway, fanboying aside, I'm going to get on with the rest of the festival. But I just wanted to come and show you this, because this is probably one of my favorite cars I've seen in a long, long time. So sick, and obviously you can get the roof off. That is one of the joys of the Aperta. All right, we're going over there. Oh God! Oh. What is that? Tell me what that car is. Ah, you got the Aperta bit in. Well done, mate. Okay, so Jay's here as well. Hello, sir. You're here for day two. You weren't here yesterday, but you're here now. One day's enough. One day. You're here now. Welcome. Welcome. You brought the 488. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's good. Does look so good still. What's next after this? We, we mooted this in the, the last video. We don't really know. Oh, it's sick. It's sick. Okay, should we get on with the festival? Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's. So let's lock up the AMG GTC. If you haven't seen the video on this car, make sure you check it out. It's my last video on here. Yep. Oh, fudge. Yep. Let's go. Casual 918 on the move. I forgot to also mention in this video, I'm going to reveal at some point something that I've got coming to the garage, which is probably the most expensive car I'll ever buy. Uh, that I've not told any of you about, so do stay tuned. But whilst this is what made me think of it, and it's not this, as you all know, I've got an 812 super fast coming, but I've literally just stumbled across this in the car park. Looks very nice actually with these wheels. I wasn't sure on them when they first came out, but they actually look really good on this. I believe this is Rosso Fuoco, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the triple layer red, so I think that paints about 16 grand. We've got some 488s there, which aren't particularly interesting in comparison to the 812, I must say. Coming around there, it's got the carbon sills. Very expensive option. Uh, no carbon around the front from what I can see. Actually, no, it does. It has the full carbon mouthpiece here. Look at it. Very, very cool. But anyway, I've been absolutely distracted. Nowhere near the festival yet. Just strolling around being distracted. Do you like the 812, mate? Yeah. Okay, cheers for that. We will have that. Yep. You know what? Hurricanes are just chaos. Nah, we'll have that, Bill. So we finished up the meet and greet at BOTB stand. It was absolute chaos. Thank you so much to all of you that came out to say hello. We've got one more to do tomorrow because today is Saturday. But I'm back in the car park and I've seen something very exciting. Sorry, mate. I've seen something very, very exciting. I think this is actually my favorite car of the whole show so far. I saw this knocking around in London very recently. But those of you that watch my channel closely and listen to what I say will know that this is pretty much my ideal car and the only car that I would ever get rid of my Carrera T for. I may well be getting one of these. Something's happening in the background. And there we go, I've let something slip there. But I'm working on getting one of these. There's a plan in action and something is happening. But this one is particularly exciting because it is in oak green metallic, which I believe was a VW color they used to do on the original Golfs. But the, so this is a PTS color and PTS is not available in the UK, hence this is a left-hand drive. 
but there's some other cool options on this as well you've got the steel brakes which obviously not a cool option but much more classically fitting you've also got houndstooth on the seat inside on the 918 seats and you've got touring in the headrest there i don't know if you can pick that up on the camera but overall this car oh yeah and you've also got some very tasteful uh livery graphics on the side there but overall this car is absolutely a dream, dream, dream car. This is exactly what I want, uh, and I'm trying to get a GT3 Touring as we speak. So the wheels are in motion, hopefully it happens. Uh, and I wasn't actually planning on revealing that on my channel until it actually happened, but here we go, a little uh, exclusive for you there. And obviously the plate there is very, very cool. So shout out to whoever owns this car, brought it over from abroad. I saw this on Sloan Street uh, last week or so. I was very, very excited. But anyway, yeah, favorite car. Strolling around the car park further, there are more ridiculous Porsches. I think I know who owns these two actually. But this is sick. Turbo S exclusive edition. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? You're on TGTV. Please do not swear. How are you boys doing? Good. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yeah. Will we have that? Yeah. Will, will we have it? Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Excellent. Nice on gents. Right. So the Turbo S exclusive edition here. It's got the all important carbon wheels. That is a punchy, punchy, brave option. But this is so cool, so sick. One of 500 in the world, I believe. And it's next to a standard Turbo S, but they both just look so cool. I'm obsessed with Porsches at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, but I would still have the GT3 Touring, which is over here. Anyway, I'm heading back, I'm heading back. I'm going off to the supercar paddock. Got Eurus there, still ugly. Walking past this, I am contemplating doing these decals to my Carrera T whilst I still have it. If I keep it, that is if I keep it. But let me know, do you think I should get those decals? Historic vibes, holla. So I'm at the Lamborghini stand and they've got this SE30 purple Aventador S with the SV wheels. Very odd spec actually, they've got red center locks and silver calipers. I think someone must have been drunk when they were specking this. The color's nice though. Going around, we have a Hurricane Performante. Very cool car. Worth 280k though? I don't know, I don't think so. What else have we got here? Oh, Centenario Roadster. Casual as you like. But is at this point, I've got some very exciting news. So, some of you may well know that I've got an SV at the moment. And I did have the event for S. Yeah, it's so busy here. But I have ordered, ladies and gentlemen, I have ordered the Aventador SVJ. And recently, rumors have been flying around that he's done a ring record of seven minutes, no, not seven minutes, six minutes and 45 seconds, which is faster than GT2 RS. So I've ordered an SVJ and hopefully that will be coming in the next, I don't know, six months or so. Yeah, is it coming? Yeah, six months or so. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't spec'd it yet, so there's going to be a whole journey on that. A whole uh, series specking of videos on that. A whole well. series of videos, hundreds of videos about the SV journey. Yeah, that is sick. SVJ journey. Okay. SVJ journey. SV journey. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to Italy, do all sorts of stuff, spec oh, it up. Yeah. Am I coming? Yeah, you can come along if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if they let you. But yeah, that's going to be a whole series of content. So that is an exclusive in this video. I can reveal that I've ordered an SVJ. Fingers crossed it all comes to fruition and I don't go bankrupt before it arrives. Anything could happen at this stage. And it's only uh, did get the lap record. <laughs> well, yeah, rumours. Yeah, they haven't done the official lap yet, but it's going to do it, I think. That would be sick. Really, really cool. Anyway, what is Swiss by then? Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Whilst I'm in here, I thought I'd show you this Porsche Speedster. Very, very cool. It's got some unique details like this. But to me, this would be kind of the ideal. Porsche, absolutely unbelievable. Manual box, obviously. The four litre engine from the GT3. Some nice gold detailing there. These amazing center lock wheels. And some cool classic livery on it. And a very cool white front end on there. It's uh, very unique, but this with the tan seats is absolutely ideal. I know Porsche are bringing something out that looks like this, but probably not quite as extreme. And you've also got the fuel cap on the bonnet there, which is a nice historic touch. Anyway. Onwards, I'm going over here somewhere to a Michelin supercar paddock thing with the lads, with the lads, the lads, the lads, the lads. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Another car that's on the hit list is the DBS. I've said in a previous video that I've ordered one. I'm still trying to do the numbers on it and work out whether or not this is going to be feasible or not. Do you like this? Yeah, that's really good. DBS is sick. Do you like the DBS? Yeah, I do like it, yeah. It is cool, isn't it? I do, yeah. 
I think I'd still take the dark blue. There was a Silverstone, but it's uh, definitely uh, the blue. Yeah, definitely in the blue. It does look quite nice in the red with the uh, exposed kind of carbon on the back there. Yeah. Really cool. And these wheels are not the option I go for. I go for the ones from Silverstone Video. And if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. But yeah, work is in progress on this also. But stay tuned. Heading back to the car, there's just a GT2 RS just left in the car park alongside this, which I actually think is cooler. But it's quite interesting to see these cars together because you can see the size difference, how the 911 has grown over the years. Look at that thing, it's tiny. That's absolutely enormous. But if someone said that you could take one of these home right now, I think I'd actually be hard pressed to say the modern one because that just looks so cool. White wheels, white livery on the side, checkered seats, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So cool. That's actually a very, very nice spec. I don't know. I think that's cooler. Let me know in the comments anyway. I've just also just spotted something else. Something else in this car park that's absolutely ridiculous. This is the joy of Goodwood. I know I keep banging on about the car parks. But you could just, you could spend all day just in the car parks alone. You don't even need to go into the show. I would go into the show, but uh, yeah. Just, just in the corner of the car park, literally in a field. We've got on his egg. Tiger 4, which is nice, but it looks pretty boring compared to the rest of them. Another Connor's egg. And another one there. Sorry, ruining all your photos, so I do apologize. Just churning a video. So yeah, we've got Connor's egg just literally sat in the corner of the car park. Absolutely ridiculous. Totally mental. This thing is out of this world. Look at it, it looks like a spaceship. It looks like it's doing 200 miles an hour, just sat there. All the carbon, carbon for days. The whole thing is carbon weave. It's different color carbon weave. The detail on these things is astronomical. Got forged carbon like vents inside. Everything's carbon, you get the idea. Wheels are carbon. Yep, 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 yep. Two of two, apparently. I don't even know what this is called. This is a bit of you, isn't it, Archie? McDonald's spec? Are you gonna get a rear quarter for Instagram with it? Yeah, I am, just go in, mate. It's lovely. Yeah, this is what, the Agera, Agera RS? Agera oh, RS? <laughs> You're not joking either. Those wheels are cool, look at them. So sick. Only at Goodwood where you just see this in a car park. This isn't even on display, this isn't a public area. It's just sat here. You getting it? Rear quarter, yeah? Okay, mate! We've also got a brand new Bentley Super Sports here as well. These are staggeringly powerful. Absolutely ridiculous. JE had one of these recently. This one's got a wing on the back as well. So have a little look! Carbon wing on the back of a Bentley. Of course, of course. So that is that from day two of Goodwood Festival Speed. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It was just kind of a vlog of what was going on, really. I didn't really plan any of that. But I have revealed two cars that will be coming, hopefully, to the garage this year. Fingers very much crossed. Anyway, ciao for now. It's time to get back in the AMG GTC and head back to... Actually, I'm staying at Archie, so... Yep, I'm going to head back there. And then, day three tomorrow. More meet and greets at the BOTB stand, 1 p.m. Although by the time this video goes out, I think Goodwood might be over. Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.